Hi friends, welcome to today's video. My name is Stephanie if you're new here and today we're going to be looking at the new Cirque Holiday Collection. I'm super excited to share this collection with you today, even though it might be a little too early for the holidays, at least for me. These shades are really really beautiful, so let's just get into the swatches. The first polish is Sachet, which I would describe as a cool toned red with silver shimmer. So on the website, this is described as a metallic, but it's not super reflective. So personally, I think I would consider it more of a satiny finish, if that makes sense. I mean, it definitely reminds me of those lustrous big red bows on presents. So it's festive either way. <laughs> So this one was a little bit more full coverage on the first coat and really easy to work with. It was nearly opaque for me, but I still did do a second coat. So I normally don't love satiny, cool toned reds on me. I usually prefer warmer reds. So I was a little bit nervous about this one, but I actually really, really love it. I think it's such a perfect and unique holiday red, at least in my collection. And I think it's a great in between if you think creams are too boring and glitters are too much. <laughs> Next up we have Verdigris Jelly, which is the newest jelly joining their collection. This one is a deepened teal and since it's a jelly formula, it is super sheer, but it dries down really glossy. Although I would never advise skipping top coat just because the polish dries down glossy. I think it's just like a little fun bonus thing that happens, you know? So anyway, I think the day that Cirque switches to wide brushes cannot come soon enough. The jelly polishes especially would benefit so much from a wide brush. So as you can see, I'm doing my best, but I didn't really get even application here on the first coat and it did manage to even out a little bit on the second coat, but I could obviously still see through to my nail line. So I ended up going in with a thicker third coat just to see how opaque it can get. I really don't mind the translucent finish on two coats and I can't wait to try a jelly sandwich with this shade, but yeah, I definitely do love how the color builds up on three coats where it's more opaque but still very squishy looking. The next shade is Tahitian Pearl, which is a charcoal gray jelly base with a purple to gold to green multi-chrome shimmer and micro holographic glitters as well. So this was such an unexpected color, for me at least, but they did such an amazing job capturing how beautiful Tahitian pearls are. So this one had a pretty good formula where it was really easy to work with, albeit a little sheer, but that's pretty expected with these shimmer formulas from Cirque. So it didn't bother me at all, and I definitely think the shimmer and micro glitter comes through so beautifully. So this one was a little bit brush strokey for me, but the shimmer hides it pretty well. So I ended up just doing two coats for this one because it was opaque enough for me, <laughs> but I think if I look closely in certain lightings and angles, I can still see through to my nail line. So you might need a third coat, especially if you want it 100% opaque. And here's a clip with more direct overhead lighting so you can see how the shimmer just looks a lot more pink head on. I really love how shifty this one is. So onto the new pearly shimmers, we have Soleil up first. And this one is a white crelly base with a pinky red sheen and micro holographic glitters. So if you're familiar with Moonbeam or Mystic Moonstone from Cirque, these are basically the same formula. I guess technically Tahitian Pearl is also a part of this family, but it's obviously the black sheep. <laughs> Anyway, since these have a milky base, they're pretty sheer on the first coat, but it had a really great, easy to apply formula that just stayed where you put it. My only gripe with these pearly kind of shades is the brush strokes. They are subtle and they do settle a bit, so you definitely just have to be careful with your application if you are a stickler for even lines. Next up we have Serenity, which is basically the same finish as the last polish, but this one is the only one that has a multi-chrome shimmer. 
here it's picking up kind of gold but head on it's actually more of a bright lime green shimmer and in more extreme angles it leans kind of peachy so i thought that was really interesting at first i thought this one would be my least favorite but that multi-chrome shift is really growing on me this lighting definitely made me think of the polished moonbeam so i will have a comparison of these two later in the video they're definitely not dupes <laughs> i know it's kind of trippy if you are familiar with that polish but anyway i wanted to see what this would look like on three coats just to see how opaque it can get it's been a while since i had swatched moonbeam so yeah the base for this one does build up a little bit more but you still can see through to your nail line i think the shimmer makes it really distracting but anyway i have a clip here at my desk with more direct overhead lighting so you can see how the shimmer head on is actually that bright green so yeah you'll have to let me know what you think of this one i feel like it kind of reminds me of an opal sort of and the last new polish in this collection is siren so again this one is a white curly base with holographic micro glitters and this one features a really bright purple shimmer so i had the same experience with the formula as the last two shades totally expected where it was smooth and easy to apply and all of that so no complaints here i actually found the shimmer in this one to be really bright and i think this is probably my favorite from the new pearly shades Again, I did do two coats for this one, and you can still see through to my nail line. So just a heads up that you might want to layer it over a white if that really bothers you, but I do like how subtle and soft it looks just being a little bit sheer. So I ended up doing a skittle with all the new shimmers along with Mystic Moonstone and Moonbeam, so you can see how they all compare. These remind me of wintry infinity stones. <laughs> So while they do have basically the same formula, I will say I notice more holographic micro glitters in Moonbeam on my pointer finger, which makes it look a tiny bit gritty, even though it's not textured at all. I already really loved Moonbeam and Mystic Moonstone, so it's nice to see some new shades join the family. I'd love to know which one's your favorite. Now moving on to comparisons, we're going to start with Serenity and Moonbeam. So like I mentioned, aside from the obvious difference in shimmer color, the shimmer in Moonbeam isn't as fine as it is in Serenity. Like it's ever so slightly more sparse, if that makes sense. I actually think because of that, the brush strokes aren't as noticeable in Moonbeam as they are in Serenity or the other shades, but I know I can just be a little nitpicky about that. And now for Siren, I'm going to be comparing it to Loud Lacquer's Ice Queen. So in the bottle, they are basically one-to-one -one dupes. I guess if we're going to be picky, I would say Cirque's Shimmer is slightly more pink and Loud is a little bit more purple, but they also have a huge difference in their bases, where Loud is way more sheer and Cirque is just more milky. So loud, in my opinion, would look better as a topper since the base wouldn't cloud up the color underneath. But with Cirque, you can obviously build it up to be a little bit more opaque on its own. So it just depends on your preference and how you would wear these. So that wraps up my swatches and some comparisons for the Cirque Holiday Collection. As always, I would love to know what your thoughts are on this release because Personally, I do really like it. I just feel like it's a little too early for me to get excited about holiday and winter collections because it's still like technically the first, well, I guess the second week of November. And I am just not one of those people who jumps straight from Halloween into the December holiday season right away. <laughs> I do like to use November as the catch up month for the fall collections I didn't use yet, or, you know, fall designs that I didn't get to paint yet. So jumping straight into holiday collections, it feels a little early for me. That's why I haven't reviewed other mainstream brand holiday collections that have already been announced since like October or maybe even September. Um, I personally like to just kind of wait on that. So 
personal preferences aside, if this was like the month of November, no, if this was the month of December and it's like super cold out, there's snow falling down and I have this collection in front of me, then I'm a huge fan. <laughs> I really, really love it. It gives me such glam holiday party vibes that I just wasn't expecting. I think I've kind of come to expect a very typical cute holiday glitters and you know something like that so to see these finishes which aren't exactly new or unique maybe with the exception of Tahitian Pearl because I wasn't expecting a shade like that at all um I just really think these finishes elevate the color palette a little bit more than if they were just like creams or micro glitters if that makes sense but I mean I still really love glitters for the holiday season so anyway those are my thoughts but I'd love to know what yours are leave any and all thoughts that you have down below so we can chat about it but thank you so much for hanging out with me today I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one bye